you feel like you lost, and that's hard. You know, sometimes feeling like you lost is hard. You know, especially when you've been put in all that work. For me, my mental health struggle has always been anxiety, which is like a, it's an ongoing thing for me. So I'm like medicated for therapy every week for it. And I think everyone's anxieties manifest themselves differently. And mine always manifests themselves with physical symptoms. There's been too many times to count on the road, in the studio, in my daily life where I felt like I was just going to die. It's a daily struggle for me um, and something that I, I'm almost 40 and something that I've been working through my whole life, you know, and it rears its head at different times. And I think with depression, anxiety, with these mental health things, there's triggers, right? And one of my biggest triggers is touring, which is insane because that's how I feed my children. So I've had to learn different coping methods. I get up every day and I run. That's my one thing, you know, you, uh, my drum tech jokes with me and says I'm running from a panther. That there's always a panther chasing me and I'm running from him. And sometimes it feels that way. So I run from that panther every day. And see, for me, it's like it manifests itself physically. Like I'll have chest pains. My hands will go numb, you know, or it'll be any other form of ailment. Like I'll have like a headache. I had a headache once for a month. And I went to all these doctors and they're like, it's just stress. It's just stress. It's just the panther. He got you. Your brain becomes this, my therapist calls it lizard person, where you just go into this flight, fight, flight, or freeze, you know, and you go into this you're just, you're a lizard person. You're not thinking with your head. You begin thinking with your emotion, thinking with the panic, you know, and those, those emotions and those things exist for a reason. You slam on your brakes, you almost hit the car in front of you. That's helping you. That's primal. That's like from our ancestors, like chasing a bear or getting chased by a bear. That's in you innately. You were made that way to have that. But when you have it all the time, that's when it becomes a problem. It feels impossible sometimes. You know, especially at 40 to like, I'm almost 40 years old. I'll be 40 in July. And it's strange to like still be dealing with it, but that's part of it. I think there are things you heal from, but you still have the marks. I think when we go through things like this early in life, early life traumas, early life um, anxieties, they change you and they make you a certain way. So for me, those it's interlinked. It's like some days I win, like I said before, and some days I lose, but I always have that scar. And, and it, when it gets irritated, it's hard. You know, and it hurts worse the longer you've got without having a panic episode or an anxiety episode. You know, if you've got like, sometimes I'll have like a year where I'm like, I'll have small things. The panther might nip at my butt or something, but when he full on pounces on you, you feel like you lost. And that's hard. You know, sometimes feeling like you lost is hard, you know, especially when you put in all that work, you know, and I think that's something we got to normalize in this space is sometimes you're going to lose. You're not always going to have wins with this. We've kind of made it normal to say, oh, you, you reached out for help. And then, then we kind of leave it there. And that's not where you, you, you don't, can't leave it there. Because help isn't like one time. It's all the time. Right now,